Hello, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls. In his out, he's in between us. It's me, Dan, and welcome back to another Pat Reports. The bad bits. It is Tuesday, September the 15th, 2020. On the 27th of May this year, we spoke about Jack Nui Bradley, a West Midlands Perry Bar custody nurse from Stourbridge, who was charged in connection of possession of indecent images of children. 29-year-old Bradley had been charged with three counts of making indecent images of children, along with one count of distribution of indecent images of children. Bradley didn't work for the police directly, but rather he was employed by Mountain Healthcare, an organisation that provides sexual assault referral services and police custodial healthcare. Well, Bradley appeared at Wolverhampton Crown Court on September the 14th, where he was sentenced for possession and distribution of child abuse images. Bradley, from Clifton Street in Stourbridge, was handed a 16-month sentence by Judge Amjad Nawaz. Suspended for two years. He was also given a sexual harm prevention order for two years, the same time period, and ordered to pay prosecution costs of £340. Well, what a way to discourage other sick cunts who want to do the same. 30-year-old Richard Swinnerton, a deputy head teacher at St Clair's Catholic Primary School in Acklam, Middlesbrough, appeared at Teesside Magistrates Court on Monday after he admitted watching child rape videos on the dark web. Swinnerton pleaded guilty to three counts of possession of illegal images of children relating to Category A, the most severe, Category B and Category C after the National Crime Agency carried out an investigation into the 30-year-old from Corby Newham and subsequently carried out a search of his home address. The National Crime Agency said that Swinnerton admitted he had watched child sexual abuse on the dark web for two years before he was arrested by National Crime Agency officers at his home on the 15th of May. He told investigators the footage including adults raping children. The National Crime Agency confirmed it has not found any evidence to suggest that any of the images were made at the school and there is no allegation of any physical abuse. During a short hearing at Teesside Magistrates Court, Ian Johnson, prosecuting, outlined the case, confirming that police seized Swinnerton's laptop during the search. Following his arrest, the National Crime Agency confirmed the laptop contained 87 Category A videos of child abuse. National Crime Agency Operations Manager Julie Booker said Swinnerton had gone to considerable lengths using the Tor browser to commit his offences and thought he was anonymously on the dark web. A St Clair's school spokesperson said this has been very upsetting matter for parents, carers, staff and the wider St Clair's community. We are grateful for the support we have received from them and we continue to assure them that the well-being and safety of children at St Clair's remains our priority at all times. It is also important to reiterate that this former employee's offences were not in connection with his employment at the school. Swinnerton will be sentenced at Teesside Crown Court on a date that is yet to be confirmed. Helen Sabiston, mitigating, said Swinnerton had no previous convictions. She also asked the magistrate's bench to order a pre-sentence report, which will be carried out by the probation service before any sentencing hearing. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, a pre-sentencing report is generally used as a try and get out of jail card. It simply means he'll be spoken to by probation services to determine if he's a threat to the public and whether a suspended sentence would be appropriate rather than a custodial one. I would have to say that a primary school teacher watching child rape videos is always going to be a threat. I can't see how anyone would even consider giving this cretinous cunt a suspended sentence. Former Dover and Dill Member of Parliament Charlie Elphick has been jailed for two years. Not suspended. Following being found guilty of three sexual assaults on two younger women. He denied the charges, but was found guilty of one count of sexual assault in 2007 and two further counts in 2016. After a trial at Southwark Crown Court, the judge told Elphick he was a sexual predator who used his success and respectability as a cover. Within minutes of his jailing, Elphick confirmed he would appeal against his conviction, arguing he had not had a fair trial. The 49-year-old dubbed himself a naughty Tory as he chased his first victim around his central London family home in the summer of 2007, the jury heard. He also groped a second woman, a parliamentary worker in her early 20s, with whom he was besotted while serving as the Dover and Dill MP. The court heard Elphick, a father of two, lied to colleagues, police and his own wife about his infatuation. 
His successor as Dover MP and wife, Natalie Elphick, said she only learned of his feelings for the parliamentary worker when she was looking at case files during lockdown. And after Elphick was found guilty, Natalie announced the pair would be separating, putting an end to their 25-year marriage. When convicted in July, the qualified lawyer was warned he may face jail time. He was told by Judge Mrs Justice Whipple there was a very real possibility he will be jailed. Mrs Justice Whipple said Elphick's denials have left his victims faced with the ordeal of giving evidence in court. They told the truth and you told a pack of lies, not only to the jury, but your wife, the whips and the police, she told him during the sentencing hearing. Mrs Justice Whipple also said she considered carefully whether the sentence should be suspended, but bearing in mind the gross breach of your position of power, I'm satisfied that appropriate punishment can only be achieved by immediate custody. However, a spokesman for Elphick said his lawyers have already begun an attempt to overturn a conviction. I know that I'm innocent of any criminal wrongdoing, he said, and will continue to fight to clear my name. Mrs Elphick confirmed she supported an appeal against the conviction and today's excessive sentencing, adding that the court seems to be on a bit of a mission. There was no doubt that Charlie behaved badly, she said, but he had been denied a fair trial. Well, this certainly isn't over by a long shot, is it? So I will, of course, keep you updated with any further development. As always, big thank you to every single one of the channel supporters, especially our Patreon supporters. Your support is truly appreciated and really does help. And that's it for today's Too Much for YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And remember, until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and all other officials. Good night, all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, hit that subscribe button up the top there. If you haven't already, become a subscriber. That is support enough. Share the videos, comment, like, it all helps. If you're looking for something else to watch, up top there is my latest video. Down the bottom there is a video that YouTube recommends for you.